you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the Unapologetically Honest Show. Yay! Today, we are here to discuss RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 14, Episode 10, The Snatch Game. Let's snatch my face back. Snatch Game. Hey. We are close to the end of the season. Are we? There's promise. Four, yes, there's four more competitive episodes, a reunion, then the finale. So six more weeks, but like, it's we're we're almost we're closer to the end than we are before. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh. <sighs> my neck hurt. <laughs> my back, my neck, and my back. And you know, I said there was gonna be some tomfoolery to where they could make it work for the number of episodes that were left. And I see what the tomfoolery is, but still, there's going to be more tomfoolery to come. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, overall, what did you think of the episode? That was stressful. Uh, it was okay. It was. A, I enjoyed the episode for what it was. Did I enjoy Snatch Game? No. No. But like overall, it was, it was okay. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. It was what it was. It was what it was, and it ain't what it ain't. And I called it. Remember a few weeks ago when Willow sat on that couch and said, you know, we all did really good. Now there must be, wait till there's a challenge where we all do really bad. And I'm like, it's snatch game. Two, three <laughs> weeks later, here we are. <laughs> snatch game. My Lord, that is up in heaven. Oh, she, she mentioned that in Untucked. She's like, I, it, it, this might be my fault. <laughs> See, I didn't watch Untucked. I told you how I am about Untucked. Everybody knows. I was like, eh, I ain't watching it. <laughs> it comes on right after. It's it like, does, oh, and I go click. Chloe episode. I go click. As soon as the preview for next week is over, click. Yeah. Like, I watched I the watched first few when the season starts, but, like, after that, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get in this episode. What about you? <laughs> okay. All right, let's share this screen. Okay, so we start off coming back after the double sachet between Georges and Jasmine. Mm. They're all so happy, especially these two, which I ain't gonna lie to you. If I got a double save, hell, I'll be happy too. Like, look at me. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the one time I actually agree with Diabet. They need, to, they need to go into the house. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I'm happy they get to show their art a little bit longer. But mm. I actually agree with Diabetes. Maybe some, they, even Angeria, uh, 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 Angie said something about somebody could have went home. Right. Somebody really could have went home. And I was, I took, I took completely got it. It's getting ridiculous at this point. How long this is ridiculous. It's just like, why? Why? Mm -hmm. I don't understand it. We had more queens. Okay, that's why the season's longer. There's more queens that were casted. Cool. Right. But we're the only reason we're having such long seasons is we had two uh those two episodes at the beginning that didn't really count, even though they did send Queens home, they came right back. And then we yeah. had um, an episode where there wasn't a bottom. And now we have, and then we had an episode just last week uh, that was a double save. And then we get this where there, there wasn't even a lip sync this episode. I think this is the first time ever there wasn't even a lip sync. Right. And I was highly upset. Because we'll get to it, but I thought we were going to hit season 11 again. I'm going to say, oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> 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 where everybody lip sync at the same time. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, let's continue into the episode. Now, Daya, I agreed with you. She was like, it wasn't all that. I'm like, I agree with you, honey, but that's something you could have kept to yourself. Yes. You could have kept that to yourself, honey. I agreed with you though. Uh they congratulate Bosco for getting their second win. And, you know, Deja Sky's really feeling, you know, the pressure. Been in the mm -hmm. top for the past few weeks. Really want to get that win. Mm -hmm. and, you uh, know, and that is completely understandable. Completely, especially, I know I would feel that too. I've been in the top the past few weeks. Like, I'm killing it. But, like, I'm just not killing it enough to get that win. Like, what else do I got? Right, somebody got just a, a smidge bit more than I do. Yeah. 
And at least Deja Scott's actually been doing good, unlike Diabetic, who was just crying. Like, because it, she was safe. Yeah, like Where are you safe for a reason? And see, this right here shows two different ways of expressing your frustration without coming off as pompous. Or being too confident. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I appreciated that from Deja. So we enter the next uh, day in the workroom and the voicemail interrupted. I'm sorry, the room mail interrupted Jasmine talking. I thought that was funny. <laughs> the producer was like, uh-uh, we ain't doing that today. Hit the music. Room mail. She's like, ah, oh, saved by the bell. We're, like, We're not doing it this week. We not. <laughs> no. So it was very clear to me that this was Snatch Game. from Right. The and they're like, what, what does this mean? Like, girl, did you not? This was all the iconic lines from the past Snatch Games we've ever had. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, girl, especially, shut up. I'm like, come on now. Y'all know Little Rich. Y'all know Little Rich. <laughs> but I was like, okay, whatever. So RuPaul enters the workroom and announces that we're having a mini challenge. You basically have to make a hot couture outfit out of these uh, bubble wraps. <laughs> yes. You know, I love a silly um challenge. I love a silly mini challenge. So I thought this was good. And you know, they had the sponsor from Bubbly, so it all kind of tied in. Mm -hmm. It worked for me. So they collected it and then they took their photos. Here's everybody's photos. Um, I <laughs> took this photo because RuPaul said they looked like expose, and none of them knew who expose was. I'm like, now Angie. Angie, at least Angie should have known who Expose was. Anyway, so here's the rest of these photos. I thought they were cute, funny. Oh, Jasmine's had me hollering. When that mm. went go off, I'm like, me, me. But the winner was Bosco. Yeah. So RuPaul announces that this week's main challenge is the Snatch Game. So it's time for the Snatch Game. Do, 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 do. RuPaul is here in the same suit. <laughs> the, right? Like, we know y'all shot that in the same day, but Ru, you could have put on a different suit just to make it look a little different. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, because, you know, he was going through the, the, the walkthrough. Yeah. And he was talking to George's. And I, I they 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 clipped it like so good because I'm pretty sure Georgia said one thing and Rue corrected her and was like, You mean last week? Oh, see, I didn't even catch that. Oh, paying attention now, I caught that. But you but you know they're big about you know saying last week instead of yesterday, oh. even though we all know what happened the day before. Right? They're like, it's a new episode, it's a new week, so you gotta say next week. I mean last week. Mm-hmm. But yes, um, this week we had Raven, a little tan, but not as bad as she was last time we saw her. Giving some um, Elvira vibes. Yeah, she's Morticia toned, she's vibes. Tan down, but I need her to tone it down some more. It's still, <laughs> it's still giving me this. And I love you, Raven, and I know you're not uh, black uh, facing, but it, it's looking that way. So to tone it down just a little bit more, a little bit more. And then we also had Dove Cameron. And I love how they use pictures of a raven and a dove. I thought that was really <laughs> cute. So, so overall, what did you think of Snatch Game? Um, it was it like it was entertaining enough, but not very entertaining. <laughs> Honey, we finna get into this. So uh, first we had Lady Camden as William Shakespeare. I thought she did a good job. I thought she did a pretty good I was actually job. laughing at her jokes. The only thing that really got me is if you're going to do William Shakespeare, you should talk the way he wrote his plays and his poems. And right. He wrote like the lady is in the, the cometh of, you know, speaking. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know which uh, had a terminology of that, but speaking that way. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, was, you know, you girth saying, your added loins. Added an a ism every now and then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She got her loins in a uh, lambskin. <laughs> like, but, oh, but over, I, I really thought before I realized that they were all in the bottom, I thought at least, because I felt like this was going to be a multiple lip sync. I'm like, mm -hmm. it's going to be more than two queens. And I'm right. like, maybe Lady Camden, but then we saw that runway, but we'll get to it. Mm. 
But yeah, overall, I thought she did a good job. I really did. I feel like her critiques on her Snatch Game were a little harsh. Were a little harsh. Up next is Jasmine Kennedy as Betsy DeVos. Um, what did you think of Jasmine's performance here? Um, I I chuckled just a little bit, but it kind of like fell flat because I think she was just taking it a little too literal. Same, um, but I didn't laugh at all. Not one time. I'm like, oh, she's in the bottom again. Yeah, yeah, I got those vibes too. I was like, oh, okay, we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna get that again. Up next is Angie as Tammy Brown. Again, I chuckled a little bit, but I was like, there should be more to this character. I know there's more to this yeah, character. Yeah, I chuckled at first, but as it went on, it was just the same note. And I'm like, there's so many more Tammyisms you could have done. Right. Like, you didn't even mention the Teletubby teleport us to Moss. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Like, those are iconic moments from Tammy Brown. And like, you just kept giving us the. Like, come on, come on now. And you Where's barely just them? walking kids in nature. <laughs> barely. I'm like, come on. Come on, give it to us. But I, And here's the thing. I was so disappointed in Snatch Game because there's a lot of queens who are funny here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I say this all the time. Like, I always feel like Snatch Game is going to Snatch Game is gonna be the hardest thing for me because I feel like I'm naturally funny and I feel like I can do well in improv. But doing a celebrity impersonation on top of improving. That's mm. where I think I would struggle. And baby, you saw that here. Yeah. All these queens are typically good at improv. Yes. Most of them. Most. So this really hurt my feelings. Up next is uh, Georges as Ilana Glazer. I was like, oh, so we're getting a repeat of uh, Jasmine versus Georges this week. Cool. <laughs> we're yeah because she gave nothing and i don't even know who this person is i don't either i've, I've seen pictures of her like I, i'm aware of her now her first little bit right here when she was uh going back and forth with rue when she was introducing herself that was funny right but everything else fell flat fell flat fell flat yes drew barrymore played by willow pill this could have been so iconic. It could have been. And it was right there. It was right there. And I feel but, like Rue was setting her up too. Rue was like, here it is. And she would just miss the swing. I'm like, oh, you were so close, Willow. Mm -hmm. So close. Like the look was right. The voice was right. It just, you, and you were start, you would start a joke. And I'm like, okay, okay, give us the punchline. Finish it up. And it just went, I'm like, oh. <laughs> lead ball I you know and I'm all honesty like I'm sitting here and I'm looking and I was listening to it and I was just like did Willow not do any research on Drew Barrymore before she decided to do Drew Barrymore she was just like who do I look the most like and did that I think she did the research I just didn't think I don't think she knew that her and Rue worked together which I didn't even know that until Rue said it I'm like oh mm. But now I know if I'm ever to do a Snatch Game character, I need to see if RuPaul knows or worked with this person before I right. betray them. You know what I'm saying? So we can't run across that, you know, oh, my bad. I, I thought we didn't meet before. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, it was, that was so Even with that, she could have been like, oh, you know, all the drugs from the 80s. <laughs> Catching up to me. Something. Maybe she didn't want to crack a drug joke. I can understand her not wanting to do that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't know. But that's like people playing Beyonce. Everybody's just, you, you have too much respect for the character. Don't play them. I feel like I can make Beyonce fun. I feel like I can because I love Beyonce, but I'm not afraid to make her look stupid. But not as stupid as Kenya Michaels did in season four. That was terrible. Oh my God. That was terrible. Up next is the only person who did somewhat of a decent job. Little John. Yeah, yeah. Asia Sky did Little John. Yeah. Yeah. And th that irritated me that she kept saying yeah. I'm that's like, what where's his other saying? There's the okay. Right. Where's the shots? Shots, 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 shots. 
Like, there's so many other little John Isles she could have did other than yeah. Yeah. But she did a decent job. And because like her little goblet she made. And because everybody else did so bad, she really shined with just doing a half-ass job. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, I thought she did. I thought she did good. Compared to well, everybody compared else. Compared to everybody else, she did compared really good. Compared to any everybody else. Honey, we're moving on to Gwyneth Paltrow, who was played by Bosco. Now, I'm not, look. I'm not too familiar on the septum piercing. Can you take that out? She could have flipped it in so you couldn't see it. Okay, because that, that was my thing. We know uh, Gwyneth doesn't have a septum piercing. Well, maybe not that one specifically. You can take those out. You can, okay. You you can, especially if they've been in there for a while. It's like any other piercing. The longer they're in there, the, the more you're... I mean, and it probably would have only been out for like maybe an hour or two. Yeah, I'm finna say my at tongue the piercing. I just take it out every week, clean it up real good, and put it back in. Right. And then also when I brush my teeth, I always make sure to get around the bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then on top of that, like, if you know that the character you're playing doesn't have that accoutrement, then I would have just got the regular bar, the regular loop, put it through there, and then flipped it in if I was worried about it closing on me. Yeah. But let's talk about the Snatch Game. (sighs) Baby, this was garbage. It was. I didn't laugh not one time. No. Now, I did laugh at the droop thing just because it tied back to a mini challenge from season 12. I was Mm -hmm. like, you know, they didn't have the reading challenge. They had that droop challenge where they were fake nice to each other. (laughs) Yeah. Well, that was a different one. But anyway, but still, um, yeah, it's just no. No. Last but definitely not least is Ozzy Osbourne. And you could have did so much with that. By uh, Deja, not Deja, by Diabetic. This could have been so good. Like You could have did so I much with was that. There. Like, there was moments where I did chuckle at Diet, and I'm like, okay. But, but I got really annoyed when it seemed like the answers were being copied. They were. Every answer was copied. And I'm like, Ozzy's not known for copying other people's sounds or saying, so why are you doing that? Right. Like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't hear him call for Sharon not one time. Nope. Sharon! 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 Like, what's what's going on here? <laughs> Nothing. And, like, I've never heard Ozzy actually say Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. So that, that kind of threw me out of it, too. Right, because that's not an Aussie thing. That's a football thing. And football as in European soccer. That's why they say it at the uh, Down Under, um, judging they always say it. But it's just like, yeah, like, there was, like this had potential. This had potential. And if Deja, I'm sorry, if Diabetti ever does All-Stars, I would tell Diabetti, do this again. But and she could have brought out the stupid dove. And there was a dove there. Dove Cameron was there. That would have been just like the right, a bite your head off. My goodness. I would have I would have told Dove, I'm like, you have a nice head over there. Like I would have said in the Aussie voice, that's a nice head you got, Dove. That's a nice head you got over there. Uh, I sound more like John Lennon. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was so much potential for this. And I like like I said, there were so many potentials for a lot of these. And it just really, I was let down. Yes. In my opinion, it, it, it's probably the worst Snatch Game. Like, not even the worst case of edging because there was, like, no sensation to get you there, period. Like, you showed up to the party and they were like, you know what? We're not going to do it anymore. You can leave yeah 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 sounds like a move i would make like you know what i didn't get all of my party favors together so maybe we could try next week maybe next maybe maybe next year maybe season 15 sorry 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 Sorry. so we're going to the main stage and this is the only full shot i could get a rupaul's dress oh that's unfortunate because i love this dress it looks cute 
I loved it. Now, I got a shot of her from her waist up, which we're going to look at here in a second. But, yeah, uh, this is the only one I could really get. We got Michelle Visage, Carson Kressley, and Dove Cameron. With the little picky tails looking like she's 12. With the picky tails. So here's the waist up photo. Amazing. Oh, I didn't realize her eyes were closed. I should have got her eyes open. Um, But anyway, RuPaul looked amazing. Uh, Uh This week on the runway, we got... Holy Couture, I believe is what it was. Yes. Holy, Holy Couture. Couture. So congratulations, Lucretia. Season 14. You get a piece of paper that says Holy Couture. What are you bringing? I forgot to send you my pictures. <laughs> you sure did. I forgot to send you your pictures. There was no... I was... Huh? Say again? I was like, I forgot to send you my pictures. Uh, there was no need for me to... Uh, get any pictures because my look was pretty much done yeah 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 and i imagine uh, probably the same look we're talking about yeah yeah but let's get into these little tanny <laughs> uh first we had deja sky i thought this was cute yeah it was a good interpretation of zendaya's look it was a good one like i, I wish uh I'm, I'm, it's just the fabric i'm guessing just right really doesn't sit well with me but I like it. And I caught the mm-hmm. reference and I caught the Joan of Arc. Like, good night for Deja Scott. Good night for Deja Scott. Mm-hmm. Up next is Jasmine Kennedy. Now, this look right here. Mm-hmm. I love this. I wish it had a little bit more shape. Right. I lo- And it looks like it needed to be steamed a little bit longer. Maybe she steamed it a little bit longer. But anyway. <laughs> I love this look, especially being a Gemini. Like, I caught it from as soon as she walked out. Mm-hmm. Not just from the little symbol on her forehead. No, the actual dress. <laughs> but the reveal. I didn't like this. Yeah, that was a little messy. I was like, girl, you had me with that dress. You really should have kept it that way. You really should have kept it that way. Up next is Angie, and this is the look I would have done. Yes. <laughs> but my thing is, I think I would have done an Usher. Uh-huh. You know how so they're all they black white, with the suit. With their black uh, pants or a black skirt. I would have gave like a drag version of the Usher, but uh-huh. I at the same church Angie went to. <laughs> and I could have had that finger. You wait one minute. You don't know. You sit over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. <laughs> Over here, come on. Come on, come on, come on, over here. Over here. And then, like when I get to the when I get back to the front of the runway, block it. You know how when the prayer is going on, the urshers will block the door. Like this, so nobody can get in. But yes, I love this look. This gave me everything I needed. Yes, first lady realness. Yes. She's the freaking deacon, honey. I love it. I love it. Willow. I, I didn't get it. Like, I understand she was being a fungus. And I understand religion can be a tricky thing for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Because I have... The same critique for her is the same critique I have for Camden. Like, don't be afraid to have a look because it's, it, it embarks on religion. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And understand you don't want to disrespect anybody. And she also mentioned how she actually somewhat worshiped the fun guy. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, it seems like you copped out of the category. The category right. was holy couture. And you could have did hold. Because that was my other thought. You could have done like a cute little church dress that holds all in it, something. It was just, I don't know. Like, I like this look, I do. But I feel like this was a cop-out from doing the actual assignment. Mm -hmm. I do. Next is Daya Betty. Now, I'm messy for getting this screenshot. But baby, them ankles. She went down. And at first, I thought this was a, like a Lady Camden thing. I'm like, oh, okay, she's trying to rip off Lady Camden, but work. Mm-hmm. But no, honey, no, she actually failed. <laughs> yeah. 
She fell. She played it off, honey. The ankles could not support them heels to that day. Don't know what was going on there. You're tall enough. Why do you constantly get eight inch heels? My thing is, like, you knew there was a possibility you could lip sync. Why put those on? Like, imagine if if, if the lip sync would have been another seven way and you had these on during the lip sync. So you'd have went down, down, down. And you already fell here. But here's a better shot of her standing up. I just wanted to do the fall first. Uh, what did you think of this look? I did not like it. I didn't either. And I caught the reference, but it wasn't done well enough, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, oh, I just didn't like it. I, like it. <laughs> I didn't. I thought about mine again. You thought about yours again? Mm-hmm. Your what? My look, what I would have done. Oh, is it something different now? Yeah. Okay, well, go ahead and uh, explain to the people. Because, like, at first my look was going to go off of, like, what Deja Sky did. It was going to be either Zendaya's, Rihanna's, or uh, Ariana Grande's. Uh-huh. But now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, and I'm like, you know... I just went to church with Angeria and just made an adult replica of this little church dress I had <laughs> when I was five. And it had the little, the, 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 the black Mary Janes with the little with the pigtails. With the pigtails and a little side. Uh, thingies. And a little ball. Yes. Oh, that would have been too cute. And, you know, that wig everybody loves with the balls. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that would have been cute. That would have been real cute. Up next is George's. Here's the thing. I like this. This is cute. Mm -hmm. But we've seen it so many times at this point. Yeah. Like, it's cute. Like, I'm not saying it's not cute. It's just we've seen it. Can we get some variety, George's, honey? Yeah, she's, she's, you know, like, I don't know, just the body suits are kind of killing me. Yeah. I'm kind of over. Oh, I'm not a little bit of I am over it. I am over it. Like, I get it. You're cute. You're small. You're petite. No hate. All love. But give us put some, some clothes on. Give us, give us something a little bit more. We need a little bit more meat, okay, with these potatoes. We need a little bit more meat. Mm, all side dishes up next is lady camden and i feel like the same thing i said for willow she copped out of some i worship the spice girls that wasn't the assignment that was not the assignment don't get me wrong love this look oh i love right this. i would rock the shit out of this mm-hmm. you wouldn't be able to tell me nothing honey i would be like zig zig ah just walk around everywhere <laughs> But this was not the assignment. No. This was not the assignment. And I love how Michelle did like an investigation with each part of each queen. Yes. I just thought about it. I did not get a screenshot of Bosco. Ooh. Well, Bosco's right here. Wait, did Bosco walk? Did they show Bosco? Yeah, they did. They did. They did. Because she came know. out in full habit and then yeah. whipped it off. Yes, I don't know why I didn't. Wow, why didn't I get a screen? I must. I get tired. It's been a long day. It has. I apologize, but I love the look. I want to say that now, like that. What in the hoops? The hoops was everything. Was everything. So, out of all these looks up here, who had your favorite look? Probably Angeria. It's actually Bosco for me. It's Bosco for me. Like, I love the first look into the second look. And I love how it draped as if it was a train to a dress. Mm-hmm. I love that. But Angie is a close second. Uh, my least favorite would have to be diabetes. Like, I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. But they just got wins this week. Yay! Finally, yes. And then we find out that the remaining queens is in the bottom. And I'm like, oh, Lord, we finished. Here we go. Way, honey. 
I, you know me, I love a good multi-person lip sync. You know, people hate that seven way from season 11. I love it. It's so freaking <laughs> chaotic. It's so terrible. I love it. And when Honey Davenport jumped off that stage, oh, it was so bad. It was so good. So bad, but so good. Oh, it was so good. That's what about like when I rank season 11 lip syncs, y'all don't be shocked when that was a little bit higher than what it should be. Because, baby, I love how chaotic it was. Yes. <laughs> so I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, yeah. They finna sing. They finna get it. And then RuPaul's like, you're invited to a Lala Perusa Smackdown next week. I'm like. <laughs> Meaning you have 12 hours to go to sleep, change your makeup, and come back. And I'm sitting here. And, and Diabetty got on my nerves. I'm like, you tell me I did as bad as Jasmine. Yes. Yes. Yes, y'all all were bad. B A D D D D D D. So we get this lovely to be continued. Do do. Now, one thing I want to point out. You notice know Bosco here. Mm-hmm. In the same outfit. There's a slight difference to it, but it's pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. down to the headpiece I'm like it's a different bra and it's a different shoe I think easier to look well through. I mean she's got the little corset on from a couple weeks ago yep but it's very similar and here's my thing if I was RuPaul I would have told them to put the exact same clothes they had on like we're going to do this a lot of perusa we're going to do it as if y'all were up for elimination, which means y'all will lip sync in this. Mm. Honestly, I would have started right then and there. Jasmine and Nigeria, let's go right now. Everybody else back in the stage. We, like, it would have been the next episode, you know, for them, but, like, for us, but, like, I would have been, like, everybody to the back of the stage. Jasmine and Nigeria, y'all are up first. Let's go. Mm. Let's go. Which means I know at least we're going to get one three-way lip sync because of the way things are lined up here. Mm -hmm. I just wonder who the three-way is going to be. <laughs> uh, but anyway. I wonder if it's going to be like loser the first one goes up against the winner of the next one or something. I think it's just if you win the lip sync, you're safe. And if you lose the lip sync, you have to lip sync again. Yeah. Kind of like how they did with Canada. Mm -hmm. The two winners went on and then the two losers kept lip syncing. I think mm -hmm. it's similar to that. My only thing is, diabetes, honey, what is this? What do you have on? But my thing is, this is a lip sync smackdown. Mm -hmm. so you know off the jump, these two are safe. So my thing is, who out of these queens are going to go home? I think we well, might be. I think we might be saying goodbye to Daya next week. Now, granted, we haven't seen Angie Bosco or Willow lip sync yet. Mm -hmm. But Daya, in both of her lip syncs, really underwhelmed. Like, really didn't give what needed to be gave. Mm -hmm. So it might be Daya, unless these three are just so like. I just I don't know who's gonna go home next knowing that we're going to have this lips because we know it ain't these two. Mm -hmm. Maybe they finna flip, kick, and bounce the house down. Especially right. Georges is ready. <laughs> Georges is ready with her little tassels. Honey, she is finna twirl. And mm -hmm. so is Jasmine. I'm excited to see it. I am. So I don't know, but I think we might be saying goodbye to Diet next week. I hope it's Diet and not Angie. Not as I hope it's Daya. <laughs> Not I hope. <laughs> oh my goodness, but that is the Snatch Game. That was interesting, honey, but we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Yes. I'm tired. <laughs> so, uh, Lucretia, where can they find you on social media platforms? You can find me at Lucretia McGill, that's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L -L, on all social media and you can find me on social media at Simply Desmond. That's S I M P L Y D S M O N D. Thank you for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see y'all shortly with our mass singer uh, review.